Today we review what I call Rafa Premium. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Vela Harmony. In today's review, we take a look at Rafa's for, foray into what I call their Pro Team Premium line per se. They don't dub it as such, but it really is. We're gonna start with these bibs that they have. They, they've been out for, for several seasons now. I have a couple of copies. This is the most recent one I've gotten. Rafa calls this their Pro Team Power Weave Bib Shorts. And they've basically taken the Pro Team Shorts to an even higher level. And they're very, very competitive to the ASOS RS line with this design. It's very light, very compressive, very robust. In this colorway, I intentionally chose this colorway because it really goes well with the similar move that they've done with this jersey. They call this their crit jersey, protein crit jersey. And this color is like the, the navy and blue, and it really goes well. So they don't sell them as a set, but I put this together myself. And you kind of have to do stuff like that from time to time. What I'm going to do is introduce you to this. This, this uh, protein bib short, the design, first of all, is very unique. This whole thing is very compressive and very breathable. I don't know how they did it. I have one of these in black, and they really, really wick moisture in the summer. They're great on your hottest rides, and they also work in the shoulder seasons like spring, fall, so you can get a lot of use out of these shorts. The padding, it's almost like they did something similar to what the protein padding. It looks almost like the protein padding. I like that it's not very thick. That's one thing I like about their padding. Very, very robust, very breathable. This thing does not store moisture. So if you're riding in the heat and you perspire, it just wicks. You can see all the holes that are in there. It's probably made by the same company, SciTech, that makes their... The shape is pretty much like the regular pro team shorts but they, they they use a different fabric on top that makes it a little slicker than even that one so i i don't know what those elves that rafa are putting together it has raw cut legs so it just really disappears and on the inside here they put very very tiny grippers you can't see them you feel them i'm going to turn it inside out and you can see where the color changes from navy to like that teal. This entire band has the fabric itself is a gripper. I don't know how they did it. You, you can't see anything, but you feel it almost like little particles of almost like rubbing on light sandpaper, like 2000 grit sandpaper. It doesn't feel rough, but the stuff there, and that's what keeps it in place. Somehow they managed to do the magic. Straps are, are similar to the protein, very robust, very elastic, just sturdy. This thing is tough. You can see all the different fabrics they're using. If you look at the, the front of the garment, this is a very light, breathable fabric here because when you're in the riding position, you can accumulate a lot of heat down here. On the side here, this is a different kind of lycra feels almost like a, a soft velvety kind of lycra, but also breathable. So this panel here really lets air in and out. It's just uh, a, a different spin. On the rear here, it's also very light. Everything they use is light, but the fabric feels different. This one feels kind of velvety. This one feels like silk almost up here in the middle of your back. So this is more breathable than down here. I, 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 and even though that this is breathable as well. So they know exactly what they're doing. I'm going to put it on because you really appreciate this when you're wearing it as opposed to holding it and talking about it. So let me go ahead and put it on and I'll put on the jersey as well. Let me get this tag off. You know, we all have a lot of stuff now. I got a lot of kit. So now I'm looking for next level stuff from all of these top vendors. And if you're in a similar situation where you want to treat yourself, you don't have to have a lot of stuff, and you just want like a, a, a big group ride kind of kit, this is, the way, this, is the, this is the route to go. 
They have it in black. I will put the colorways up here when I do this in post-production. But let me go ahead and put this on because this is not your ordinary everyday short. All right, here are the Power Weave bib shorts from Rafa. And this thing fits a lot snugger than the regular Pro Team shorts. Uh, the best way I can describe them is that they feel best when you get on the bike. Because when I do this, that tightness goes away. It is not uncomfortable. It is a snug, compressive fit. It is intentionally designed to provide compression while you exercise. And it, it feels nothing like the Pro Team stuff. It feels like they found a way to massage you while you're wearing these. That's the best way I can explain them. Tight yet comfortable. The bands here are very, very snug, very elastic. So this thing is designed to actually hug your body. When I do this right now, it feels better than when I'm standing here. When I stand like this, it's not uncomfortable, but it feels like it's grabbing me a little bit. And as I get in the cycling position, it disappears completely. How they do that, I don't know, but it has a lot to do with not only the cut, but I believe the fabrics that they're using here. Rafa's already a premium brand, so it seems funny to say Rafa's forage into premium wear, because that stuff's already premium. This is just next level within their line. You know, so the, these, these Power Weave bibs have a different price point than their regular protein bibs, but it's based on protein to another level. It's almost like a limited edition foray per se. Now, let me take this jersey that did something similar. This just happens to have worked to look like a kit because I, these are separate pieces. There's no relationship between the two. This crit jersey has different colorways, which I will put here in post-production, and it has nothing to do with these power weave bibs. But when I saw the colorways, this looks like it would be a kit as you can see now. And that's something you have to kind of develop. And I've mentioned it on the group ride videos. When I'm getting pieces now, I want to have a plan before I even purchase them. Let me put this on. This, this jersey is designed with this particular fabric up here, the crit jersey, very aerodynamic. This is very, very snug as well. The same thinking like they did with the Power Weave bib shorts. The Lycra here is different. I'm not sure. I, it seems to be almost like this material. So I suspect, if you look at it, I suspect it's the same kind of Lycra here, which is different than their other jerseys. So they're, they're playing around with different textiles and fabrics, kind of like Asos does. They're coming up with unique stuff. And that's really where you want to look if you're looking for something special. It's on these premium brands and when they start doing these little experimentation because I'm feeling this. You can see how the color look. This is exactly the same right here. That's exactly the same. And so it's, it's, it's probably not a mistake that they go well. You can see even the, the lettering. It looks like it is a kit. But they don't list them together. Not even as a bundle. The arm of this, they stitched like a five millimeter band here. There is nothing under here, it's not raw cut. It actually has a sleeve. These arms are a little longer than their aero jersey. And I believe this jersey, because when I hung it up, it looks smaller than even the Pro Team aero jersey. I believe this is even tighter. This is designed to have you slice through the air. Let me put it on. This is very elastic as I put it on. This fabric, that almost feel like the skills on a lizard or something. It has a unique feel and it's hard for me to describe. You, the, the, what you see in the design, they feel like little ridges on it. It's like I'm rubbing the, the skin of a lizard. It has something to do with how the air travels around the body. Gets on really easily. So the arm is very tight right here. Let's see, so the aero jersey is very close to the length of the aero jersey, but I think it might be a little shorter. I think it's slightly shorter, not significantly so. The neck here has an elastic band in it. As I pull on it, it moves really well. Now let me put this on. 
This material is the same lycra as this. So, but it's not the everyday lycra they're using in other things. So they did something unique here. Let me zip this up. As I zip this up, very compressive. The top is also very compressive. And you can see, just accidentally by looking at these two colorways, this is the same lycra as here. That's why it looks like they came together. And as I stand here, it feels very, very compressive around the arms here. The shoulders feel a little tighter than the aero jersey. But when I do this, it disappears. Now, this jersey is not for hot, humid summer rides, like around here. If it's 90 degrees or 33, 34 Celsius, I wouldn't wear this. I would wear this up to maybe 28, but then I wouldn't use a base layer. I just put this base layer under it because of the video that I'm making. But when I wear a jersey like this, I want to wear it just against the body because uh, first of all, it doesn't have a whole lot of room and then putting a base layer under there takes away whatever little room, but it is very compressive. The bottom here has a one centimeter band that's built in there. No silicone grippers or anything, but it's, it's into the jersey. And then the back of the jersey has these little, you can feel the rubber eyes to keep, keep it in place. I'm going to load it up a little bit. I like how easy it is to reach the pocket. That's another thing. There's quite a few things that Rafa has come up with lately. The pockets just seem to be too high and you have to be a contortionist to get in there. And look how that, I like how it keeps that way up. So this band here, it's there, the, it's in the small of your back. That's what makes whatever you put in here disappear. You feel like you're not carrying anything. I really like that feel. So they did a good job of the pocket. Nice and tight, nice and tight. So this is uh, next level stuff I wanted to share with you all. If, you, you, if you're looking for something unique and you know save up or whatever, but splurge and get the Rafa Pro Team Crit jersey and the Power Weave Bib Shorts. That's something to look into within the Pro Team line because these are next level garments and they're designed for your fastest rides. Let's put it that way. Feels really good. And so as I said to, to wrap up, you, you want to wear these, you can wear these on mild days, cool days, because you can put a base layer underneath, you can wear it with an arm warmer. I'm mostly going to use them in the shoulder seasons, in the winter here when we have warmer mornings or whatever, or if it starts out above. So it's really for a range where, depending on your tolerance, I would wear something like this, let's say 10C and up to maybe 30C, okay? Because once you get to like 33C, I believe that's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, it gets a little warm. This garment is not flyweight garment. It is a solid garment. Although, garment, although it, it has a, a lot of breathability, it is not for your hottest rides. But it has enough range to where you will get value out of it. So with the colorways that are out there, you should be able to put this kind of kit together. I feel very fortunate to have put them together in, accidentally and it turns out they're using the same lycra here that they're using here. Exactly the same thing. So to that effect, let nothing stop you from getting your cane.